Uh, Cahirli, um, I, I'd ask the leader if he could arrange for the Minister for Communications to come to the House. I did that last week, and particularly to clarify his comments that debate can be robust, heated, personal, and sometimes even hostile if you enter the arena. You cannot expect that the Queensbury rules will apply. Unfortunately, those comments were made last Friday when on the same day, one of our national news newspapers, uh, David Quinn, uh, exposed some of the emails he got. Uh, if you're reading this, this is a quote from one of them, kill yourself, end your S-H-I-T-T-Y existence on this planet and let humankind move on from your bigoted, homophobic and sexist, I have you, uh, the bull S-H-I-T. The next bit was, please don't take what I said Senator, lightly, end your Senator, life. Senator Woods, what's that to do with, with, the, anyway, with the other person? Have you a question for the leader? Or are you proposing I'm going to ask the leader a question once I put this on the record. Senator, it doesn't need to be on the record. Can I, I, face in. Have you a question for I the leader? I hope you die a horrible death. Now, can I just say that I'm in favour, and I'd like if we had a debate in this House about freedom of speech. Freedom of speech is essential to our democracy. But where you have comments being made like that, it's not alone that. The other night, Susan Phillips on one of the programmes said she was getting hostile, hateful emails. A gay man last You're night. From people, a gay man uh, last night. A gay, man, gay man last night who opposes gay marriage. He believes that marriage is between a man and a woman. Was put in a position Senator, have you where he's had death threats. So my question to the leader is: Can we have a debate on freedom of speech? Can we have the Minister for Communications in? And can we deal with these dangerous, vicious elements? within the gay ideological movement. Like, can I appeal to those? Can I appeal to those <laughs> more no, reasonable voices? Can I appeal no to the more reasonable voices? Senator, can I, can you're making your proposal. You're making yourself ridiculous. Can I appeal to the more reasonable voices within the gay groups, and particularly Senator, led, who I've always felt responsible, to condemn this type of activity? Totally unacceptable. Senator Mullen. And it's intended, obviously, to intimidate and prevent people from engaging in open debate and open speech on a matter of social re-engineering.